Hello everyone, today I would like to show you how to uh, analyze data using multivariate linear regression uh, in the Quizak model. And uh, in here, I did mm, the paper published in the cell press, and they use uh, three different methods. Uh, the, the first one they use, um, uh, let me show you. The, the first one they use the, uh, they use the multi linear regression methods. Uh, and the second way they use the multi non linear regression methods. So, uh, individual, I will show you how to run the multi linear regression methods and show the results like uh, this paper. And you can see here after they run the multi linear regression result and they show the uh, equations and they estimate the R square and MSE and uh, predict the CV square. So, in here, and they also show the uh, the graph for you know the observation you know I see fifty percent and predict I see fifty percent. Uh, so in here in today I will uh, uh, I have the data. Uh, I will include in the in this uh, video and you can practice here. Um, at the pre uh, at the if you follow my video you can see in the previous uh, I, I I separate the data to the training sets. And that says uh, my com uh, my uh, the total uh, data include around thirty three compounds. You can see here thirty three compounds, uh, thirty three compounds, and I separate around sixteen compounds for training sets, uh, twenty six compounds for training sets, and around seven compounds for test sets. Uh, so this is my outcome a PIC fifty percent, and here I have around eight covariates, including more. Molecular surface area, log D and log D, log P and log D. So, in this video, I will show you uh, the first time you need to uh, add your um, S task uh, in the Excel file. Uh, because in this uh, video, I will show you how to align um, uh, multi variate linear regression by X task. In here, uh, you go to the uh, Google, you write down X start download and you click the X start for 40, 40 days um, uh, pre trial. And after that, you click the links you can download uh, for your Windows or your Mac, depending on your computer. And after that, you run and you can um, see the additional function in your Excel file. So, in here, I show uh, the modeling data and I choose the linear regression. And after that, this is for you can see here this is dependent variables it means that the, your outcome and here I choose my outcome is PIC 50 uh, because I on right on I want to uh, um, estimate uh, IC 50 in the training sets I only uh, select the training uh, sets and I click I, I click enter and after that I choose the uh, covariate here I covariate also to around a compounds a um, a covariates until the trend says and I click uh, I um, click enter so in here you need to check the variable uh, labels because you know the first column uh, be, uh, contain the, um, the label not data right so after that you click uh, option and in here you uh, need to uh, select the fixed intercept to and calculate the, the equation and the next one you um, uh, you uh, in variation here because I did not uh, want to variation variation in the next step but in here we only calculate the uh, predict uh, IC 50% here I did not pick anything and prediction I also uh, did not pick, um, um, use so I, I did not uh, click everything uh, next one is uh, the mixing data because in here uh, I we don't our data is um, uh, it did not have, have any missing data, so I click do not accept uh, missing data. And the last one, the output. In here, we need to uh, calculate a lot of uh, information. For, for example, it decrypts statistics, collation, multi linearity statistics, uh, try one or three um, uh, uh, sums of square table, and standardized uh, coefficient and prediction of residuals. And the first one is we need to click on the uh, confidence interval. So after that, you will need chart. Uh, in here, we need to show the whole chart to make sure we have the 
the chart I mentioned in the first slide and here you click OK and after that you click OK and they will run for you right the first one they will summarize uh, the statistics in here they have around 26 compound and they have mean minimum maximum mean and standard deviation uh, for uh, PIC and uh, A variable and here they show you the uh, correlation matrix uh, um, for example here you know um, uh, uh, the correlation between uh, molecular um, surface and uh, molar uh, volumes is so low around you know let that one is not not good right but it is just uh, a sample data right but the uh, the more important one and want to show you today is you need to go to the linear model variable right and as you can see in this paper uh, you can see in the paper they need to uh, write down the you know the n the r and r square and ms uh, mse means uh, mean square of error and here you can see you can have uh, a lot of information that r square adjust r square msa and uh, rmsa mse and also um, the more important one here they will show you the uh, you go down a little bit and they can show you the equation uh, the equation like the same it, uh, in the big paper uh, you know you can see here they show the uh, equations and after that they will also show you the chart predict uh, uh, predict you know um, the IC 50% and this is your original uh, IC 50% and, and you can see here uh, they also show you the IC 50% original data and here is um, predict for uh, 59% and here they also show you the um, low bar of 90% and up lower 90% so in here you have a lot of information and you can um, uh, public like the same the order uh, here I will uh, summarize in the slide here if you conduct the multiple uh, moon variate uh, cleaner regression and you can show the first one you need to uh, show the equations and the second one you need to report R, R square it's just R square and you know MSE, RMSE and here you need to report the observation and PIC 50 and PIC prediction and the last one is you need to report the chart like that in this paper they also did the same and you can see here uh, at the below he also mentioned around prediction IC 50% uh, in the uh, um, you can see um, multi linear regression methods predict IC 50% and the original data uh, so I um, I hope this video will help you figure out how to use multi uh, multivariate linear regression using XPath uh, for the quiz after uh, thank you for listening